All right, today's video should be uh, pretty exciting. One, because we're playing Spyglass Hill. Two, because uh, we're checking out a cool little cart. Let's go. Okay, uh, here's what we got. Got this cart from Cart Tech. It's a remote controlled uh, push cart. So I'm gonna show you uh, this thing and review it today. And it pretty much comes like this in the box. You gotta put this wheel on. It just pops right in, super easy, okay? Um, and then, it's, uh, watch. It's got the wheels. You pull them out of the box. So this is pretty much how it comes in the box. Um, you gotta put, uh, the wheels have a right and a left on them, so you gotta make sure they're on the right, uh, the right wheel. This wheel goes in the back, right? So this would be the right wheel, put over here. Left wheel over here. <clears throat> One thing I learned, just by doing a quick test of it, the, you gotta make sure these little nubs are in the corresponding nub holes. Nub, nub hole, there you go. Battery, got that. And, uh, need the remote. Let's put it together. Um, when, the, when you get it, it comes with this tool kit. In case something breaks down, you gotta do some repairs. Got every tool you need. The only two, tool it doesn't have, which I consider the most important, is a tiny little Phillips head that goes on the back of the remote to replace the battery. It's not in here. It's the only one I needed so far. And you need some of the tools to put the accessories on. Those are easy, you screw right in. bring the directions in case we need them. You want one of those, don't you? Chino wants one. Car tag. Okay, here's what's cool. You get in kind of close quarters, you can uh, push it if you need to. So we're good. Good to push. If you like this video, if you like this thing, be sure to hit that like button. And there are links in the video description below for this. So be sure to you know click the link, at least check it out. I believe it's like the, this model that I have, it's pretty awesome. I believe it's like $1,500, which in all honesty, um, is pretty good. I've seen a bunch of these, especially at the PGA show. Everybody had one of these guys and some were ridiculously priced. So. I would, I mean, if it's me, I mean, I prefer walking. And then I could load up as much stuff as I want in there. I don't have to worry about it. It's nothing like a little walk on the golf course. Look at that guy go. This is nice. Okay. Quick tip for you. This has a little, there's a little clip on, on this, on the back of this, goes on the handlebar. When you go in the pro shop, click it on the cart. Don't take it with you. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna start looking stuff and you're gonna bump it. And you come back and your cart's gonna be gone. And you're gonna be like, where'd my cart go? So you bumped it and it rolled away. That's what happened to me on the, just a couple minutes ago. But anyways, I knew I bumped it, so I ran out there and got it before it rolled down the first tee box with some other people there. So, quick tip. I thought it would be better to carry this at all times. It is not. Look at my cart, it's chasing deer. Oh, really? So here's what I've learned. If you're in tight quarters, what you want to do is you want to use it on super slow and maneuver it with your hands at the same time. Like right here, I'm just pushing it, holding on, turning it. It's a little easier to turn, let's say around the tee box area. And that's pretty, 
it's pretty good like this. I'm not really pushing it, I'm just kind of guiding it along. What I find is that's kind of, so far that's an easier way to operate it, is just have your hand on it a little bit. It's cool, like I'm on this little road. So I just wanna put my hand on, just kinda ease it through. It, the steering isn't like smooth, it's not like your car, it's kinda jerky steering. So when you're going back and forth, trying to maneuver it around, down a car path or something like that. That's where you might need to just have your hand on it. Here we go. Check out this hill. Okay, if you want to use, let's say the remote's just on the handle, a little button here, you just press it and you're going. But you're going at whatever speed you have this dial set for. So let me, yeah, I could back that up or turn that dial. So that's pretty nice because I'm just going to hold it right now. We're going up a big hill and you just got the handle and the dial to control everything. Again, tight quarters. Ready to go. Need more power. Just adjust that finger. Touch forward. We're back. But here's the deal. If it's in your hand and the remote's on the cart and it takes off, you're gonna do the Usain Bolt and go get it. And if you're not paying attention, you're gonna do the uh, re loop around like I just did to the other tee box. So the assess accessories I have are the um, umbrella holder. That's good because I also put my camera on there to film my video of my shots. So I can just, let's, we can put an umbrella on there. Um, scorecard holder. Go that, that, you would need one of those tools to put that on. Um, cup, cup holder here. Goes down there. And this bag. The bag's cool. Just, the bag goes like this. You might have a tendency to put it on but back here. But it doesn't go back there. It goes up here. Battery's underneath here. But what it what I need, what I'd like is a seat. I don't know if they make the seat. But I'd like to be able to attach a seat here to have a little something to sit on. Because I'm lazy. So that'd be one thing I'd like. So when you transition from holding it to letting go. Just make sure you grab the remote, okay? Otherwise you gotta do the Usain Bolt and chase that guy down. You don't wanna do that. Or you can hold this all the time. That's not a bad option either. You just don't wanna have to chase that guy. All right, rocking through the sand. See how she performs. power to it, that's for sure. Pros and cons of this thing. I mean, a lot of pros, obviously. Uh, say one of the cons, these buttons are a little easy to hit uh, unintentionally. So that's a little con. I, pro, I do love the fact there's a button on it and a uh, dial that I can control the speed with a handle. And then I have the remote too. I want a seat. So if there's a seat option, that'd be cool. The back wheel is a lifesaver. It's really sturdy too. It's really well built and sturdy. So it's, it's not gonna tip over. And I've been going sideways on the curves and stuff and it's been holding up really nicely. Another thing that you gotta watch out for is it drifts. So if there's a slope in the fairway, it'll take the slope and so it'll turn. So you just gotta constantly adjust it to make sure it's uh, going in the right direction. So this fairway slopes down this way. 
sort of drift to the left. It's not a big deal. You gotta, I mean, you gotta be awake to use it. That's all. One of the things I dislike about riding in a cart, especially at courses like this, like they have to park, they have to stay on a cart path. So you're just lugging clubs back and forth, back and forth, I don't like that. I have to have what I need with me at all times. Car tech, it's right there. Don't mess around. Plus, if I'm riding with somebody, I don't have to wait for them. You know the deal. You get a nice walk. That's how golf was intended. I'm a little personal caddy. Let's go park him on the side of the green. Stay out of the way. All done. <laughs> Cart's holding up pretty well. More than well. It's doing better than me. That's for sure. Here's a little uh, bonus you might want to be aware of. That thing back there. If you drop the remote and it rolls down into a bunker that's uh, 15 feet deep, it will go all the way to the bottom and you'll have to walk all the way around to f uh, fetch it out of there and it will probably shut itself off when that happens. So, just a little FYI, if that happens to you. I am in love with this thing, by the way. I gotta admit, I am. It's worth every penny, that's for sure. Well, that's not good. All right, cart tech. I might have been saying cart trek. It's not cart trek. It's cart tech. Things pretty, pretty epic tech, if you ask me. So, anyways, that's just a 18 hole round with this bad doggy right here. Here's Spyglass Hill, the most epic spots in all of golf, that's for sure. So, anyways, I highly recommend one of these bad boys. In your arsenal could help your game out keep your blood flowing do all that good stuff that golf's supposed to do for you absolutely love this thing link in the description below give them a check out carts tech hope you liked the video love you guys do all this stuff you know what to do see you in the next video